ESPN's Lisa Salters joins us here on the Rich Eisen Show. Lisa, how for real do you believe the Denver climate is adjusting to the altitude, et cetera? Um, you know, I'm not an elite athlete, so that is hard, hard to say. But I know just as a uh, an old lady who tries to work out every day that I had forgotten about the altitude. And yesterday morning when I got up and, and I uh, did my workout, it was fine. I uh, did the workout, and it was fine. You know, I was huffing and puffing, but that's normal. It was only after when I walked to breakfast and was walking back from breakfast that I thought, my God, I'm having a hard time catching my breath. Like, did that workout really tax me that much? And I really just – and I, I just talked it up to, like, wow, I'm really getting old. It, it's taking me a long time to recover, even from that workout. Uh, and then I got back to my room, and I started kind of studying more for the game – and I started reading about the altitude and the players talking about the altitude. And I thought, oh, that's right. We're in Denver. Okay, so maybe I'm not as old and, and out of shape as I thought. Uh, maybe maybe the altitude does have something to do with it. So, you know, whether or not the, the, it's affecting the Lakers, I, I do know this, that it takes weeks for an athlete's body to adjust to being at altitude. Um, and to, to not have the symptoms. So just, them just being here, the Lakers just being here for a few days, that's really, there's really not, not a whole lot that they can do uh, to, to, lessen, to lessen the effects. There are some things, but, but not a whole lot of things. Uh, so without being here for at least a couple of weeks, your body is just not going to, you know, they're not going to be as used to it as, as the Nuggets are. Um, but, you know, we asked, you know, Joker the same question. Hey, do you think the altitude has an effect on posting players? And, he, you know, he was pretty funny. He was like, I don't know, but we'd like to think it's us and not the altitude. And it's hard to argue that. Like at the beginning of the game yesterday, I was thinking, you know, how much of this is just, you know, the Lakers kind of finding their legs? Because they were not getting back in transition, right? <laughs> they, they, they looked kind of sluggish uh, in that first half yesterday. Um, but then how much of it was the Nuggets and them just being a, a really good team? I think game two, you know, not that the altitude won't still be a factor for the Lakers, but, you know, I'd, I'd be interested to see uh, how the Lakers start the game in game two. Yeah, Lisa, and that's the thing is that we basically have the outline of how the Lakers can beat the Nuggets. We have the outline. It's just a question of actually putting it into play because it goes the other way too. I mean, the Nuggets just saw exactly how they can take care of business and then will be that'll be what makes it so much more interesting for this game too because it looked like a blowout and then all of a sudden it wasn't yeah. And, yeah. and and that's what makes this and, game and this I, series more exciting yeah didn't you kind of think that when you put your kids to bed did you think that okay the the lakers are kind of they're kind of done they're they're gonna like you know uh let go of the rope and, and wait for game two that that's kind of how it looked like it was going when it got up to 21 points I thought this is going to be one of those games where they're just going to be like, you know what, let's just start over, you know, a game two. Um, but, you know, to see to see that fight and to see them come back, I think they left that game thinking, you know what, we can, you know, we, we, we can do this. And I would be surprised if game two, um, if they were to start as slowly as they did in game one. So do you think the Nuggets took their foot off the gas? What do you think? You know, I mean, that would be human nature. They were up 21 points. But I remember my interview at the end of the third quarter with Mike Malone, and he was, I mean, they were still up 14 at that point, but they were up 14 because of that, you know, buzzer beater that uh, that Nicola hit at the end of the third quarter. And Mike Malone, he was, he was not happy. He was like, you know, they shot 75% um, in that quarter. Like, that's not going to cut it. So he kind of saw where the game was trending. And he wanted to nip that in the bud, and, and he was right. It, it continued going that way um, with, with the Lakers kind of being able to – looking like they had figured – looking like they had figured things out. Um, so, you know, did they did they take their foot off the gas? Uh, maybe in the third quarter, but I think in the fourth quarter, they certainly knew that they had a ball game. And, you know, it just – it was a, it was a back-and-forth game down, down to the end. And I think the Lakers, again, I think the Lakers came away from that game thinking, you know, confident, thinking that we figured some things out. And, and you know, that first game I was saying to Jokic after the game that, the game, you know, game number one of the series is always kind of teams feeling each other out. And I feel like that that was the case for, for, for both of them. Um, but I think the Lakers, even though they got the loss, 
I think they came away uh, feeling pretty confident and pretty positive that they had figured some things out. That's exactly what I saw, too. That's exactly what I saw in those post-game interviews. That they that was not a, a team with their head down. That was their team like, oh, uh-huh. I think I saw something there that I can manipulate for game two. Yeah. You know, yeah. and maybe we're, wrong. maybe we're wrong. Maybe maybe they'll get blown out in game two. But it just seemed like things started to click, like the light bulb went on for the Lakers. And, you know, like I think the first quarter, first half of game number two is going to be really interesting. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 